Gospel reading taken from Luke 19:1 to 10. At that time Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich and he was seeking to see who Jesus was but on the account of the crowd he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. for he was about to pass that way and when jesus came to the place he looked up and said to him zacchaeus hurry and come down for i must stay at your house today so he hurried and came down and received him joyfully and when they saw it they all grumbled he has gone into be the guest of a man who is a sinner and zacchaeus stood and said to the lord behold lord the half of my goods i give to the poor and if i have defrauded any of anything i restore it fourfold and jesus said to him today salvation has come to this house since he is also a son of abraham for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus Once again, our Lord extends his hand to someone who comes to him in need and humility. Zacchaeus was likely a wealthy and lonely man, serving as Jericho's principal tax collector. He was likely despised by the Jews, who viewed all tax collectors as public offenders because he worked for the Romans and collected more tax money than was permitted by law. It is impossible to imagine that Zacchaeus had any idea that Jesus would invite him to his house. He had a great desire to know our Lord. so he climbed the tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus even though he was physically wealthy it's obvious that his comfortable lifestyle was no longer enough to satisfy him he knew that Jesus had the answer since something was missing thus what Zacchaeus did would have seemed out of the ordinary to others in order to view Jesus he scaled a tree for what reason did Jesus stop and look up at Zacchaeus and call upon him down declaring that he would remain at Zacchaeus's house It's because Jesus was able to see Zacchaeus's inner needs. Jesus is drawn to people with open, needy, and poor hearts. He never passes up the chance to see such lowly folks. Through the power of God's grace, Zacchaeus went from obsessive curiosity to repentance, conversion, and reparations. The episode highlights that a person can only undergo such a conversion if they fully experience the love, acceptance, and mercy of a merciful lord Zacchaeus responds to our lord immediately by promising to right the wrongs he has done in the past he promises to give away half of his possessions and to repay anyone he has extorted fourfold this reveals the authenticity of Zacchaeus's heart if we want to draw Jesus to ourselves then we must acknowledge the poverty within ourselves even if we are materially wealthy and successful in a worldly way Every one of us must humble ourselves like Zacchaeus by knowing that Jesus is the only answer in life. The call to repentance from God must be accepted. To a greater or lesser extent, we are all sinners. Through this gospel lesson, Jesus is calling each of us to complete conversion today. Despite our vile thoughts, unfulfilled promises and corrupted ideas as well as our lack of prayer, lack of faith, resentments and lusts, let us never forget that Jesus loves us. Therefore, let us implore him for his mercy while confessing to him all of our shortcomings and transgressions. We need to love others despite their sins as Jesus loves us. Jesus loved Zacchaeus, a great sinner, and by that love, Zacchaeus was transformed. Let us strive to live in the spirit of Jesus. May God bless you and Jesus Christ loves you.